Hey yo, what's going on guys? Today, we'll be going over the December 13th update, which will be bringing power troops and a few new balance changes. We do have a bit of a new interface because of tower troops. As you can see, we do already have the princess tower troop. The princess is already what's in the tower, so nothing will be changing with that. It's kind of just a new interface to prepare for the new tower troops that will be released pretty soon. You can just select which one you want to put in your tower and go in with it. There are three different balance changes that will be going live tomorrow. We're up against Riley. We're going to be trying out some of the cards that will be changed very soon. Not sure what Riley's running. Okay, I think I know now. Probably Goblin Giant could also be RG, but I don't think Riley plays too much RG. We have Hog Rider Executioner with the Evo Ice Spirit. The first change is that Evolved Ice Spirit will be going from 3 cycles to 2 cycles. So now you have to only play 2 normal Ice Spirits to get to the Evo instead of the previous 3. Yeah, it is Goblin Giant. I don't think Evo Ice Spirit will be good even with this change, but it might at least be viable in a few different decks. It might make it a little bit more of an option and it might make stuff like Hog Executioner at least a bit better. I do think Hog Executioner will actually be quite good next meta because most of the changes here are going to be super good for this deck, especially the Evo Ice Tiny buff. We'll see if he Fisherman's... Okay, free NATO. <laughs> I love doing this play. <laughs> it's just so nice. We can Valkyrie. And I think we're completely fine unless he tries to go in here. Okay, he's going to Goblin Giant. I'll go for the Executioner. Try to snipe down the Archers. <laughs> it's so predictable when you face a Goblin Giant player. They pretty much always have the same game plan. Oh no. Oh no, that's going to be a lot of damage. We have to log two. Uh, kind of half to Tornado. Is he going to spam us again? Okay, I, th I think we... We're not, we're not defending. We just have to go in with the Hog Rider. Try to get some damage. I think we lost, though. Unless Hog can take most of the tower. We do have our Evo Ice Spirit now, too. It takes so long to get to it now, but... Soon enough, we'll be getting to it quite a bit more often after the buff it's gonna get. I feel like it should do really good here against the Goblin Giant. We don't even have to Tornado. We can just Hog Rider. See, normally I would Tornado, but... That was a really good... Evo Ice Spirit. Okay, we, we may have to Rocket Cycle to get the tower. I don't think Riley's going to give it to us. Kind of hard to break through the bowler and stuff. Okay, he might Gob Giant. Yeah. It should die, though. We can just Valkyrie to kill this, and I think we're okay. I kind of want a Hog Rider, but I feel like he's going to go for something, so we can just Rocket. Okay, Nato to pull this in, too. Perfect. Log will finish it. I mean, I guess we have a chance now, but I don't know if I like this situation. Wait, Executioner, is that on tower? <laughs> really accurate fisherman. <laughs> really accurate fisherman. <laughs> Wait, can we defend? I, I think we can. <laughs> okay, we're actually looking really good right now. <laughs> I'll go in for the Hog Rider. We'll see if he fishermans. <laughs> Beautiful fisherman. <laughs> Beautiful fisherman. Oh no, the evil archers. Um. Um. Oh, it's over, man. No, it's over. We're in lightning range. Okay, we, we have one last push, I guess. Gonna hog here, Valk the Mill to distract. Okay, he's gonna he's gonna fisherman the here. <laughs> I think we got him. Right? No, he has no elixir. <laughs> Let's go. The next change will be happening to Large Riley, also known as the Goblin Giant. You see, there have been quite a few holidays these last few months, and Riley got a little bit ahead of himself, and he became Large Riley. So, now he needs a nerf. And I don't think any of us are complaining about it. We all want this card to stop being meta. It's so broken, man, but... I think the nerf will balance it out a bit. We can kite this ghost here. I'm not sure what Riley is running. I guess Mega Knight. 
Or maybe not. I'll rage here and he might have to spend quite a bit more. Oh, also ability. Oh, I think he might have goblin drill because I think I faced a deck like this a while ago on ladder. Gonna fisherman. Oh no, that might connect one of the wall breakers. It's okay. If we can go same lane in this matchup, I feel like it could be pretty good. I mean, this could still be minor, but I'm pretty sure it's drill. Minor doesn't normally have bandit or ghost. I'll go for the archers just to save the goblins for the ghost. Oh no, pretty bad archers have the goblins. <laughs> the Riley effect is most in effect when you're facing Riley sometimes. Have to bowler. Also, guys, there have been quite a few positive comments about the speed ups I've been doing in some of my videos during stale moments. A few people don't like them, so. I think, I think I'll still try to experiment with it a little bit. One thing I saw a few people saying was that I should keep them, but I should take out the sound that they were making. So I think I'll do that. I'll take out the weird sound that they make and we'll see how people like it. I'll let this go. Don't want to overspend too much. We do have the evil archers now, so we can just go for them split here and get some nice field control. Riley does have drill, right? Yeah, that's a drill. A <laughs> very bad drill. <laughs> a very Riley type of drill, I guess. <laughs> Gonna go for the Gob Giant here. I think Riley might be in a bit of trouble. I don't care about the Bandit. Fisherman will stop most of the damage. We can Lightning this Bomb Tower, and I don't know how he's gonna stop this now. I don't think he can stop it. Oh, I just realized I didn't even say what nerf <laughs> the Riley will be getting. He's going to be getting a slight nerf to the Spear Goblins in his backpack. Basically, they're going to go from having a 1.5 second hit speed to a 1.7 second hit speed like they used to have. I think the nerf will do something to the card. It won't affect it too much, but it'll definitely be more balanced out. Because I feel like the Spear Goblins do way too much damage sometimes. Going to Gob Giant apply here. Well, how's that going for the drill? Rigged. Riley is rigging it. <laughs> Riley is rigging it. His cousin is helping him rig it. <laughs> See, I can't tell if it's Riley or his cousin because he has a whole family of goblins. I think you guys understand. <laughs> Gonna goblins for this drill should be a pretty easy defense. Gonna gob giant. <laughs> Man, Riley thinks he's slick, bro. Not a chance. <laughs> okay, we just have to lightning cycle at this point. Okay, I'll lightning this. Rage 2? Okay, not the best rage, but it's okay. We need two lightnings. Gonna bowler this side. Goblin's here. But what did that bowler do? <laughs> what was that? Come on, man. I'm gonna gob giant the bridge. If he tries to bomb tower up high, bowler should kill it. Okay, I'll lightning. We need one more lightning, so... I think we have it. He's gonna wall breaker, so I'll go for the little prince. We can ability if we need it. Uh, we can let these connect on the left side. And I think we got it. Nice win. The final balance change is to the Evo Archers. Their power shot will be getting a 15% nerf. Their power shot is the shot they use when they're at a distance from other units. I think Evo Archers will still be the best evolution by far, even with the nerf, to be honest. Right now, they're so far ahead of everything else, so even with that, they won't be as far ahead of other stuff like Evo Knight and Evo Recruits, but they'll still be quite a bit better, I think. They're still going to do so much damage. Man, Riley coming out with this skill. <laughs> I don't know what he's trying to do here. We could maybe even activate our King Tower. Going to Knight for this, and we can just go for the Goblins. Oh, Mega Knight might die. Feels bad. So I guess Riley just has Mega Knight minor wall breakers. I don't think he'll have too much air defense. Oh, good zap. We're going to have pretty good offense in this matchup, but we do have to make sure we can still defend well. It's a lot better in double elixir for us, I think. In single elixir, it's easy to get punished. I'll just go in for the minor balloon because I feel like it. <laughs> Always a good reason to go in whenever you feel like it. 
<laughs> I think this should be one hit. We can goblins for defense. Should counter the bandit too. Oh, what does he have Barbaro for? We have to Evo Archers here because he could try to ability on the right. Okay, this is pretty bad. Unless Evo Archers can get some damage back for us. Gonna knight. Maybe Evo Archer could do something here on the right side. Not bad damage on the left either. It is pretty much double elixir now, so we are a bit safer. You know, guys, I do want to say one thing. Where the heck is Little Prince on this balance change list? <laughs> Little Prince is used in, I think, two-thirds of the top 200 players' decks, and it's still not in these changes. I don't know how that little guy is evading getting a bigger nerf. Wait, Riley has nothing for the balloon. No Little Prince now, so... What is he going to do? I think Balloon may connect. Oh, not quite. Gonna snowball. I'm not feeling too bad here. He's three cards away from Little Prince now, so... We can go in aggressively. Okay, wait, I'll defend first. Really good arrows. <laughs> okay. Goblin's up high, and now we can go in. If he tries to Little Prince, we can just go for the Snowball, and it's going to reset it. Yeah, so... Uh, I think it's over. <laughs> yeah, very nice win. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye!